So now the Ford Bronco Raptor has been confirmed. We have trim levels, horsepower ratings, and tire sizes. All right, guys, let's get started with this Bronco Raptor info, because like I said, we got trim levels, tire sizes, and horsepower ratings. Some of this has been confirmed, others not confirmed. And then we have information that was leaked, but then deleted from the internet. And to me, that's confirmation. Let's start with what we do know, and that is that not only is the Bronco Raptor gonna get 35 inch tires, but we are gonna have an option for 37 inch tires, much like the F-150 Raptor, which has 35s and now optional 37s for 2022. It looks like Ford's confirmed that the Bronco Raptor is also gonna get that same option. So 35 inch tires or 37s. 37s are what was spotted on the prototype testing out and about. And one of the reasons for it is that Ford said they were directing their competition from the Raptor Bronco to the 392 Rubicon Wrangler with the Extreme Recon package. Now we know the Wrangler came out with the Extreme Recon package to battle the Bronco with the Sasquatch package. So now both of them at 35s. Now you take the step up from the Bronco to the Bronco Raptor, which has optional 37s. And now we've just outdone the Wrangler yet again. So, Everybody's out to you know one up each other, and now it looks like Ford managed to do one more way to up the ante on the Jeep. So, 37 inch tires, there's our first bit of information. Next bit of information, um, Ford is saying, not confirmed, that this could be coming out with 450 horsepower. They did not mention what engine, uh, so we don't know that, but they're saying it should be out around 450 horsepower to also compete with that 392 Jeep Wrangler. Now, if I remember correctly, the Jeep had 485 horsepower, but if we're really breaking it down, the horsepower, we're still not meeting that 485. Now that horsepower number was also rumored about to be from the three liter V6 twin turbo EcoBoost that is in the Explorer ST. I think that's right at 400 horsepower, if I remember correctly but they're gonna say 450. So essentially we're gonna to have to wait for a confirmation on horsepower numbers and what engine we're gonna get be getting those numbers from. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of the gossip here. This part is not confirmed because there was a leaked document that made its way onto Bronco 6G forum. It was an order sheet for the Bronco Raptor. Now that post was quickly deleted. Now, obviously somebody at Ford didn't like that or somebody that posted it got in trouble for posting it and they shouldn't have done it. That to me confirms that there is some legitimacy to that document. Now, the order form has stated two different trims for the Bronco Raptor. And that was the 373A package, which is the base 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor and the 374A which adds a luxury package, adaptive cruise control, heated steering wheel, and a wireless charger. Now there are a couple other automotive journalists that have caught on to the same order form. Muscle car and trucks and the drive have both reported the same thing. So this isn't just a gossip thing. We've got multiple other journalists jumping on this because again, if they're gonna be quick to pull an order form or something like that down, Obviously, it wasn't meant to come out yet, which just adds credibility to its existence. Now, there was other information on that form as well, such as the only configuration that you're going to get the Bronco Raptor in is a four-door variant. Reason being, considering the size of the vehicle, the added horsepower, anything smaller would get a little sketchy, which is also why the 392 Jeep Wrangler is only offered in a four-door. There's also been talks and rumors of whether you could be able to fit a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost in the Bronco, which would put the horsepower numbers up pretty high as well. So I haven't really heard whether or not that's a feasible option if that engine would fit in there. But if it does, I think that would be a really awesome engine combination. Now, the one other thing on the order sheet that was mentioned was a trim level called the Everglades model. Now, there wasn't any details on what the Everglades model consists of or the options that come with it. 
but considering the name Everglades, maybe it'll come standard with the eruption green color. That would make sense. But outside of that, we really don't have any other information other than there is gonna be an Everglades model. Now there was stuff on the sheet that said that the Bronco Raptor will be available exclusively as a four door model and will be the only Bronco variant to offer the paint color code orange. Now it's also gonna get colors like the Eruption Green, Hot Pepper Red, and Desert Sand. I haven't seen a Desert Sand trim, but I think Desert Sand would definitely look really good with a bunch of black accents. Uh, I never thought about it up until now, but that would definitely be pretty awesome. But that's the information I have now concerning the Bronco Raptor, the leak information, the documents, things like that. So I want your comments down below. What do you think? Does removing that order form from the internet and the Bronco 60 form site, does that confirm it for you? Do you believe that since that removal had to be done, does it add credibility? To me, I think it does. Because anytime that that's happened in the past and they've removed documents, that were leaked out, they came back later to just confirm it. So I wanna know what you think of the Bronco Raptor, all the things going on now. Do me a favor, if you made it this far in the video, please drop a like on it. I do greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And definitely consider hitting that subscribe button on your way out and the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. I'm Kevin, and I'll catch you in the next upload.